This shifts in to the Slant TV desk. VUPD is in hot pursuit of a serial art thief named Mickey Carmine. The chase cut across campus and has culminated at Kassam Quad, where Carmine dashed into the building and is now unable to leave without a swipe, leaving him trapped inside. Despite concerns from the community, authorities are telling us this is precisely what Kassam was designed to do. We go now to Slant TV senior correspondent Jackson McKeever, who's on the scene with VUPD. Thanks, Carson. I'm outside the college halls at Kassam, where Carmine is still trapped inside of Warren College. The chase began when VUPD saw Carmine fleeing commons with several pieces of art from Cohen Memorial Hall, as well as the statue of Martha Rivers Ingram. Carmine has reportedly escaped prison seven different times, but VUPD is confident Kassam can contain the criminal. Nicky Carmine. Oh uh, yeah, long history with this guy. Done a couple high-profile jobs, you know, C-742s, uh, classic Article 99, real big-time stuff. Guys escaped Leavenworth, Rikers Island, Guantanamo. They even tried to put him in Alcatraz for a little bit, but uh, we're sure Kassam will work. No one can get out of there. Really, all you got here is your classic uh, 297. This VUPD tactic, although effective, has mixed reactions amongst the 600 undergraduate students who reside in the dorm. I mean, I'm a little uncomfortable about the whole thing, but I don't really run into anyone anyway, so I probably won't see him. As long as he doesn't try to talk to me or anything, we'll be good. Regarding the hall's layout, Kassam's architects have said that the building was designed to create a community by preventing students from engaging with the outside world. The Office of Housing and Residential Education has proudly stated Kassam is achieving its goal of becoming Vanderbilt's premier living, learning, and never leaving community. Hold on, Jackson. We're getting additional information here. Sources are now telling us VUPD has lost the art thief inside of Kassam, as well as three of its own officers. It can certainly get tough to navigate in there. Jackson, what are you seeing? Carson, the scene has definitely intensified out here. We're now seeing dozens of VUPD officers flock to the building. But it looks like they're being held up by the allied Barton officer on duty because none of them were registered as guests on AnchorLink. I'll be here for any continuing developments on the story. Thanks, Jackson. Hopefully that third card swipe prevents Carmine from ever leaving. Until then, the UPD will have the building under constant surveillance, just like usual.